get ready to shadow me on a real client shoot for a hairdresser, both indoors and outdoors, working with low light and flash photography. This is gonna be a good one. You can see this entire shoot along with camera settings on Photo Insiders. Photo Insiders is my online educational community for photographers. We have a ton of shoots like this on there. I was contacted by this client to photograph her new brand. She does hair extensions and braids and she is just a wildfire and was so much fun to photograph. So we wanted to show off her personality, both in her salon being the boss babe that she is and i hate that expression for the record boss babe but she is just absolutely in charge and then she had this awesome audi that she wanted to take photos with outside you look so good i <laughs> do yes it's yeah. perfect it would be nice if we had one just you kind of like leaning we'll do that first and then we'll have some with you like kind of fake getting out leaning out yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll get a bunch of angles yeah. that way lean towards the rear wheel and I'm gonna be super far away. That's what makes it look kind of epic. Turn a little, square your shoulders towards me. This way? That way, yeah. Of course I couldn't just shoot natural light. I wanted to bring in flash so that we were not just balancing for the sunset that was happening, but also for making this photo come to life and putting that pink light inside the car really did the trick. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, so you're gonna lean out again, sort of like you're getting out. So the foot goes down, and maybe one hand goes here, almost like you'd be helping yourself out. I'm but my inner center for low Exactly, you know exactly what I'm going for. <laughs> I'm using the Profoto A2 and the Magnetic Click Octa Softbox. It's so easy to set up and use, and then using it on TTL just to get a basic exposure to start. So I knew exactly how I wanted that light to look, and then switched it over to manual and went on from there. Yeah, you are just mm -hmm. ridiculous. So we got your pink in there. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. it did show up. Yep. So I'm gonna do that one more, more time. That. You're just yep. gonna stand. Yep. Exactly where you are is perfect. And then do that, look towards the camera there, but you're gonna do the side eye again. My 135 is one of my favorite lenses to photograph landscape type scenes. As long as I can get far enough away, it just makes the whole scene look larger than life, which is exactly what I wanted to go for with this shoot. And then turn towards that light and just kind of lean on the car that way. Yes, that's perfect. And looking that way, We got it. I'm so happy. <laughs> wow. Just so badass. So badass. I love that. All right. When I came in to edit, I admit I was shooting very high ISOs and I was a little bit out of my comfort zone and not completely shooting as bright as I normally would. So it was a little bit of adjusting to get used to everything. I definitely messed around with changing the exposure on her face versus the background, pulling down highlights and then making sure everything looked symmetrical. And then because I was photographing at a really high ISO, I used Adobe's Denoise and it definitely did the trick for this particular photo. This was my favorite one. I did a lot of different corrections on it just to make it look amazing. And then of course, getting to the outdoor photos, I wanted to have a natural light photo, create a realistic look and see if I could bring back some of that sky. Unfortunately, the answer was no. So that didn't happen until I brought flash out. And that's one of the reasons you use flash is to balance the exposure with the sky. So you can see in the photo I have with the pro photo light over to the right, we have sky detail here that I can enhance really to my heart's content. And I did mess around a little bit with Lightroom's masking, bringing out just that sunset that was really there. It's always a matter of balancing it though, because you know, could I have gone darker? Yes, but I was already losing all these details in the trees that I didn't really want to lose. And you'll see me pull up the shadows. I don't like losing all of those details. In hindsight, I think I should have put maybe another light 
light in the back of the car just to rim light the entire car. That probably would have been a good idea. Before we get any further in this video, let me tell you about this video sponsor, Squarespace. I have been using Squarespace for probably over a decade. Squarespace is a platform where you can create beautiful custom websites in just a few minutes. Choose from a plethora of templates where you can easily plug and play your own work. It's an all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. We all know that an online presence is crucial for your brand, so build one that stands out. Head over to this link for my exclusive 10% discount on your first domain at Squarespace. Now back to the video. Now, after I'm done editing in Lightroom, I like to come into Evoto. Evoto is for retouching. Lightroom for me is for processing, but Evoto is for retouching. And this shoot was a while ago, so Evoto has definitely evolved from this point, but here I'm using it for skin smoothing, a little bit of makeup, contouring. I can also plop in skies if I wanted to. And I took a look at it, but to be honest, I actually liked the actual sky we ended up with. I think it looked a little bit more realistic and you know, it was just something that was better using flash photography versus doing it in post. So there's a good example of getting it right in camera and liking my results when I got it right in camera versus when I tried to add it in afterwards. Again, going over some skin smoothing, overall sweetening, and these are my final photos. I hope you love them. And also check out Photo Insiders. And here's some more information on that. Hey, can you stop right there and I can tell you just a little secret? I have something called Photo Insiders that you might want to be a part of. Photo Insiders is a master educational community for photographers where you will learn the ins and outs of things like posing, lighting, flash, continuous lighting, and a mix of all of them. With new educational videos every single month, behind the scenes and on location shoots with real clients, not models. This is just fun stuff. Watch how I troubleshoot my way out of situations. Did that see my camera settings and see my images raw as they come out of the camera. Exclusive content that you will not see anywhere else. High speed sync allows you to raise You could watch a million YouTube videos and still not get your questions answered. But within the community of Photo Insiders, you'll be able to ask your questions that I will answer in live group coaching calls. Never feel lost or frustrated behind the camera again, but instead confidently create the photos that you envision every single time. Inside the community, you can also talk shop and collaborate with other photographers. So you can not only elevate your craft together, but boost your marketing and overall business too. You'll have access to all of my bonus materials, things like contracts and my email templates that are sure to put money in the bank. I wish I had something like this 20 years ago when I first started learning photography. Join my exclusive community at Photo Insiders and learn alongside a group of creatives that are going to help you elevate your craft. See you there.